Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 547, Hemoglobin Modifications. What happens if hemoglobin or hemoglobin binding areas are modified? When hemoglobin is modified, this can lead to tissue hypoxia from decrease in oxygen saturation or decrease in the oxygen content. So basically when hemoglobin is modified, it can no longer take sufficient oxygen to its end tissue and therefore leading to tissue hypoxia. What is methemoglobin? Methemoglobin is when you have an oxidized form of hemoglobin. So in this condition, the iron that is normally in the ferrous state or Fe2 plus state is converted into the ferric form or Fe3 plus and this has a decreased affinity for oxygen. So this oxidized form of hemoglobin will not be able to bind to that oxygen readily and therefore decreasing in the affinity for oxygen, but there is going to be an increased affinity for cyanide. Name some drugs that can lead to formation of methemoglobin. Methemoglobin can occur when there is poisoning with drugs such as nitrites and dapsone. How can methemoglobinemia be treated? Methemoglobinemia can be treated with methylene blue. Describe how methemoglobin can be useful in cyanide poisoning. As we mentioned a few minutes ago that when the ferrous form of hemoglobin is converted into the spheric form or Fe3 plus form, this has an increased affinity for cyanide. So therefore, if you have cyanide poisoning, you can just give drugs such as nitrites, which will oxidize the hemoglobin to form that ferric form, and that ferric form will bind to the cyanide. Now once you have cyanide bound to methemoglobin, you have to now get it out of the system. So therefore, you give a drug such as thiosulfate, which will bind to the cyanide methemoglobin complex forming thiocyanate, and this will be renally excreted. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.